Hi, I thought I would do a sample and help with the <coughs> paint chip stole front post um, double crochet. The pattern calls for eight, well first you do your foundation chain and then you're going to do two rows of single crochet. Then when you come up on the pattern side there will be eight single crochets and then we'll start our front posts. Now the anatomy of a front post on singles is you will the next stitch technically goes into this spot you will go around the post of the row the post of the stitch two rows below and that is this stitch here it's this post you'll be pulling up that post there okay so let me show you how that works You start like you're doing a regular double crochet and this would be where I would normally do it so I go to the row below go in and come back up so I have the post of the single crochet of the row two rows down wrap bring it up wrap go through two wrap go through two so I've done a standard double crochet around the post now the next set of the instructions is to do a single crochet. Well you don't want to do it in that stitch that would have had the, the next stitch. You do it in, you, it's like you, kind of like you skip the one behind the front post. Or you'll have gathered or grown stitches as you do in the behind. So there we have the pattern that's in the brackets of front post and single. Now I'm going to do another front post because I have to do four sets. Now the easy way to make sure that you're getting to the post of the row where you need is you have a single, this one you, you skip. So he goes into here. I'll explain that in a minute. Makes a little more sense when you see two done. Okay, and now I gotta do a single and I make sure that I'm not working into this one. That one's the one behind. So I go into the one next to it for my single. So here's the first post and then the single. Second post and then the second single. And by when I say skip, is you have your, here's your post on below. The skip, this one correlates to that single. Next post. So I'll skip this one and I'll be going into that one next. So I go over there and do the double crochet front post skip that one in the back come into this one so now I've done one two three sets of the instructions we have to do four sets of the instructions so here's another one my post skip around that post And then we skip the one behind and go over here. So there's my four sets, four times of front post single, front post single, front post single, front post single. And then the next set of instructions is to do one more front post. So we skip him and we go into him. And then we want to have, that's the one behind. Then the next is, this would be kind of like if I was at the end of the row, I have to, I should have eight single crochets here at the end. Let's see if I did it right. One, two, three, four, five, six. Seven, and my eighth one is right on the end. I can count. Okay, so that was your first 
first row, you would have done it, of course, the whole way up your 280 inches or stitches. And the pattern again is that's the instructions in the bracket of front post and single four times. So one, two, three, four of those front posts and singles, and one more front post. Now you kind of can't see them until you get a little bit further down, but they're the raised bits. Now, at the end of the, the uh, row, you chain one. Beginning of the next row, you turn. And we're going to do eight singles till we come up to the first pattern. So we've got eight, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. Now what we're doing is we're repeating that first row of instructions. So we've done the eight. Now we want to do four sets of front posts and singles. It's a little bit trickier here. So I've got my wrap for my front post. This is the one I want to skip. That's the one it would be next. So I go down a row and it's him. You kind of have to force him away a little bit. And bring him in. Do a double. And like I say, that's the one that's this skipped and a single. You just come down. It's kind of like you can see this one wrapping over. You want to go under it, gently push through, and come up. The main thing is you don't want to catch your front post that's on the other side. See, there's the front post that's on the other side. Oop, you don't want to catch part of it. So just kind of push it through a little bit. And then bring it up. Do a double crochet. Skip that one single in there. And then here we are. This would be the next stitch. So you go down a row. And you can kind of see this little one that's going a little bit longer. That's the one you want to go wiggle underneath it. And pull up the post. And do that. And here's another single. And how many have we done? Let's see. One two, three sets, so we want one more set. Here's that little sidewards one. Catch him up. Do the double. Skip the one behind, single crochet. And then the pattern says do that last one by itself. So there's the post and there we go for the single. We should have eight to the end. Again, that's like we're assuming. So we have one, two, three, four, and the fifth one. Now the next pattern would be eight singles and the same repeat from there. So one, two, three, Four, five, six, seven, and at the end for eight. Now, the main thing is to get these first two rows. That's the first row of double posts, and the second row of double posts on the back side. That will give you the, the raised look on both sides of your, your scarf. Now it's just a matter of counting and making sure you have eight singles in between the posts. So then we turn and I did the chain one, turn single crochet eight, one, two, three, four, five, six. Seven. Let me double check that. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Oh, right, right. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, twen
four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay, got my eight. Now, this is where you're going to do a front post around a front post. And that'll keep your ridges all in a line. Because now you're going to go, instead of around the post there, you're literally going underneath the front post you did re before. So just go side to side underneath them and do a double crochet. Skip that single here. One. So there's one set. And then do a double crochet underneath there. Skip the one behind, single in the single. Go underneath. This is called front post on the to a front post. See, now we're getting much more ridges going on. Single in the middle. Front post there. Single in the single. My ball keeps catching up with me. And we've done four sets. So post, front post, double crochet, single. Front post, double crochet, single, front post, double crochet, single, front post, double crochet, single, and the last front post, double crochet, and then you would go on and do your eight, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, eight single crochets, and start the same pattern. And you can see now that that ridge is starting to come out. And it'll make nice ridges going across as you work the piece. Then when you turn around, you're going to be doing the same thing to that row that's back there. And that's all you do. You do your 12 rows of one color, change, and do your 12 rows of the next color, and off it goes.